has a current president, has a sitting president um, ever been arrested? The answer is actually yes. A former president, um, you know, no. But a sitting president has been arrested. Here it is. Has a sitting president of the United States of America ever been arrested before? The answer is yes. Ulysses S. Grant, an officer patrolling around 13th and M, William West, saw the speeding carriage pulled over the president of the United States and gave him a warning. Well, soon thereafter, the president was speeding again and the same officer now arrested him, brought him to the station where the president of the United States willingly paid a $20 bond. The president would later defend the officer for doing his job. Now, what makes the story even more incredible is the officer himself. He was a black man, born enslaved, enlisted in the Civil War, saw combat, and then became an officer. It is a testimony to us at our best, a president making it clear that this is the United States of America, and no one, not even the president, is above the law. I want you to let that sink in. That a president was arrested by a black male police officer, took it on the chin. When others got upset about this arrest, he said, no, 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 no. no this is a good man who did his job. I was told to stop speeding. I did not. I was warned. I broke the law. I got arrested. I paid my bond. This is America. How far we have fallen. Let's put it up. That was New Jersey Senator Cory Booker briefly detailing how one, no one is above the law. Even past presidents who have supposedly been arrested in the past and according to former Trump White House lawyer T.Y. Cobb, Donald Trump could be facing jail time too. It was recently revealed that the special counsel investigating the former president will receive 16 records, 16 separate records showing he knew the right process for declassifying documents. In an interview, Cobb told CNN's um, Aaron Burnett, so I wouldn't if it was me. I wouldn't necessarily expand the case to try to prove the Espionage Act piece of it because there is so much evidence of guilty knowledge on the espionage piece that all they really have to do is show that Trump moved these documents at various times when the DOJ was either demanding them or actually present. That he filed falsely with the Justice Department, had his lawyers file falsely with the Justice Department and affidavit to the effect that none existed, which was shattered by the documents they discovered after the search and the many other misrepresentations that he and others have made on his behalf with regard to his possession of classified documents. He continued, yes, I do think he will go to jail on it. As uh, OK previously reported, Trump's Mar-a-Lago home in Florida was raided as he held onto classified documents after leaving office. Now, the Justice Department has uncovered more evidence that Trump obstructed justice. According to multiple sources who spoke with CNN, the National Archives and Records Administration is set to hand over to special counsel Jack Smith. Remember, I told you, Jack Smith is not called in really to investigate. He's called in to prosecute. Jack Smith will get 16 records that show Trump and his top advisors had knowledge of correct declassification process while he was president of the United States. Okay, let's put her up in a letter sent to Trump on, on Tuesday, May 16th. NARA's acting archivist, Deborah Steidel Wall. Wrote, and I quote, the 16 records in question all reflect communications involving presidential advisors, some of them directed to you personally, concerning whether, why, and how you should declassify certain records. Over the past few months, the businessman has falsely claimed he had the power to declassify them. There doesn't have to be a process to declassify, as I understand it, he says. If you're the president of the United States, you can declassify just by saying it's declassified, even by thinking about it. There can be a process, but there doesn't have to be, he told Sean Hannity. Um, complete lies, we have statutory 
language to codify the process itself. And there's also internal policies, etc. cetera. Um, so why did he not simply declassify it? Well, one theory is it's not valuable if it's no longer a secret. See, all right, sharing thoughts here. I don't know how, why, it just seems like every time he says this nonsense about I can blink and it's declassified <laughs> and repeats the lie. I just keep thinking about JK Rowling. And if he consulted her and the Harry Potter books to come mm. up with some of this stuff, because right. it is just, can we move on? And yeah. I really now believe Dr. Richie that he he could go to jail, it could yeah. be. I actually think it, it could happen. Yeah, it, definitely, all right. You got a former White House attorney saying, mm, yeah, he's probably going to get locked up.